All right, everyone. Today we have a bit of a simple video, but an incredibly important one. In fact, I probably should have put this out a bit earlier, but better late than never. And I want to talk about a massive mistake that is incredibly easy to make in Lost Ark that you absolutely want to stop doing right now if you guys have been doing it. And it has to do with selling items and it has to do with selling items at a certain price. And what I will tell you guys is you do not want to sell items for two gold. That is the magic number, except not the good kind of magic, the bad kind of magic. It's the cursed number here. You do not want to sell items for two gold. And I'm going to explain why, and then I'm actually going to show you guys an example here so you guys can see exactly why. Now, the reason why you do not want to sell items for two gold is it has to do with the way that the game actually takes fees and deposits with selling items. Now, if you actually end up going to register an item to sell, you can see here uh, in the description the deposit for the item and then the transaction fee for the item for the bundle. Um, if you're selling bundles, that's going to be in sets of 10, of course. And what you'll actually notice is if you hover over the transaction fee per bundle, you'll see 5% sales commission will be charged and will be automatically deducted from the total sales value. Any sales commission under one gold being rounded up. However, no sales commission will incur for transaction of items listed at one gold each. Now, this is very important, especially for items that are not really a lot of gold each or not a lot of gold per bundle. Because for a lot of these items where the bundles are cheap, like, um, you know, various honing materials where you're buying stuff, you know, for under nine, 10 gold per bundle, basically your transaction fee for everything that is not one gold is going to end up being one gold. So basically the lower that items and bundles get in price, the higher percentage you're actually going to be paying in this transaction fee. If you sell something for say five gold, the transaction fee is still going to be one gold because it's rounded up. So you're basically paying a 20% transaction fee. Now, if you go down to say three gold, at that point, you're still paying one gold. Uh, out of a three gold sale, you're paying a 33.3% transaction fee. So very important to understand this. And this is why you want to be very careful selling items for a low price, but especially for two gold. And that's the key right here. So the important part is no sales commission will incur for transactions listed at one gold each. Now that same fee is still going to incur when you sell stuff for two gold. So if I were to go and put something up for two gold here, you're going to see that it says deposit per bundle and you're going to see transaction fee per bundle. I am paying a 50% fee in this transaction. Now, if I end up going to three gold, it still rounds up. So we're still paying that one gold transaction fee. And this is going to end up applying for all the you know prices all the way up until you know, basically uh, 21 gold, I believe, 20 or 21 gold until the transaction fee becomes two gold. Now, so you're still charged the fee when you sell something for two gold, but of course at one gold, you do not end up paying a fee. Now, this is a little confusing and I'm gonna actually throw these items up. I'm gonna undersell them a little bit just so you guys can see this as an example. They're gonna basically sell instantly. The way that you actually get your money in your mailbox makes it a bit confusing here because when you actually sell something for one gold, it's going to end up giving you two gold in your mailbox. And the reason why is because the transaction fee here, it's, uh, it's still actually going to end up taking one gold out of my, uh, like when I put this item up for sale, it's still going to deduct one gold from me. However, what you're going to end up noticing is when you actually pick up the sale, the gold that you get from selling the item in your mailbox, you're going to end up getting two gold instead of one. You're going to basically get a one gold refund. Now, when you sell something for two gold, it's still going to end up taking the one gold uh, fee, but you're only going to end up getting two gold in your mailbox. So TLDR is you actually end up getting the exact same amount when you end up selling items for two gold versus selling items for one gold. It's really crazy. I can't believe that that's how it is. But basically, you're just inting if you sell stuff for two gold. The only thing that this really does is it removes more gold from the economy. You end up getting the same amount, but you end up taking more gold out of the economy. So, you know, if that's something that you're maybe interested in, I mean, I, I don't know. You don't end up getting anything more. So you're just costing other people more gold for getting your same items, right? So let's actually put these up for sale here so you guys can get an understanding of what this actually looks like. Now, pay attention to the actual amount of gold that I have here, 36,349. When I end up adding this, it's going to end up deducting a gold here. So I'm going to go down to 348. There we go. And then this is going to sell very quickly here. We'll take a look at it in my mailbox. 
and you guys will see that when I end up picking up this gold, deposit per bundle, sell price, deposit per bundle, final sell price, two gold. There we go. Remember, I paid that one gold fee though. So I went from 349 down to 348 and now up to 350. So my total sales amount that I got from that was just plus one gold. Now let's try doing the exact same thing here, except we're going to end up selling it for one gold. So we're going to sell one bundle, one gold, still deposit per bundle, one transaction fee says zero. It is still going to end up deducting one gold though. I'm going to go down to 349. There we go. This is going to sell very quickly. I'm underselling these. I know just to show you guys as an example, because I know these sell incredibly, incredibly quickly. So it works well for an example item. And as soon as somebody buys one, there it is. And you can see right here, deposit per bundle, sell price, deposit per bundle, zero, final sell price, two gold. So I ended up going plus two and we went from 350 to 349 to 351. So same result plus one. So whether I sold it for two gold or one gold, the end result to me is exactly the same. So unless you're going to sell something for three gold or more, don't sell stuff for two, sell it for one or three or more. Now I want to just offer a couple of suggestions here. You know, if you're like, well, what if two gold is the only price the items are selling at? What if they're not going to sell at three? And what if it's just, you know, you feel like you're ripping yourself off selling them at one. I'll offer you guys a couple of suggestions here. Um, the first one is obvious, like, you know, sell it for one gold, you're going to get your gold a lot quicker and it's going to be the same amount. Plus on top of that, you're basically saving somebody money, right? So um, the other one is if you guys, you know, have a good idea that the item might have a chance of going up in price, hold on to it and wait until it might possibly go up to three gold. And you can actually get a sense of this if you end up taking a look at various items, a good little gauge of this that you can kind of tell is taking a look at the average daily prices. And if the average daily prices look like they're going up and are hovering like around three gold, you actually might have a good chance of selling your item for three gold. And if you sell it for three gold instead of one or two, you're actually doubling the amount that you get out of it. Selling it for three gold after the fee, you're gonna get plus two gold versus selling it for two or one, you're only gonna get plus one gold. So selling the item for one gold more is basically gonna double the total amount of money that you end up making from selling whatever item it is. So that's another option right there. And uh, you know, the final one is um, if they are selling, if there's like a lot of something up for three gold, for example, like this one, there's like 23,000, right? That's quite a bit right there. However, even if this is the case, you might be tempted to sell something really quickly, sell it for two gold. If you're gonna do that, I encourage you to sell it for one instead, save somebody some money. But also, it might not be a bad idea to just place your item in the queue. I know people get impatient, they want their money now, and it might take a while for this to sell. In fact, it might not even sell in the entire time that you actually have it up on the market. But if it doesn't, just remember that your deposit is going to end up getting refunded. The only way that you actually end up losing that deposit fee is if you end up canceling the item. So if you just wait the full time, even if the item doesn't sell, worst case scenario is... You just had to wait until you got it back in the mail and you'll get your deposit back as well. So those are just a couple of little suggestions there. I wanted to put this out there again, very simple, but very important. And I think it's information that everybody playing Lost Ark should probably be aware of. So with that being said, that's gonna be about it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope this was informative. If you did enjoy and you want more informative videos like this, consider leaving a quick like, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Take care, and until next time.